Do, do. Right, welcome back guys. Back on the globe. <laughs> right, I had a change of heart. I didn't like the red no. in the end, so I changed it. Right, I've got it here. We've got it all spoke right. This is it at the moment. So I've got a bit of uh, the old fake snow on there. I've done it in gold in the end with a little bit of silver and stuff. I've got my little snowman globe stuck inside. Okay, which... Christmas. Uh, Father Christmas one, yeah. Well, that's the snowman dressed as Father Christmas. <laughs> uh, a little snow globe inside it. Okay, I could have made something, but I quite like those, and we bought a few of them, so I thought I'd use one of those. Okay, right. So I've got to just make the finial for the bottom now. Now I'm not having a big finial. I'm having a basically a ball because it's going. I said it's going inside a reef, which I shall show you afterwards. But that that's it. Sort of all sprayed up and painted. And like I said, it's, it's going to ha be hanging outside and it's, oh, it's pelting down rain at the moment. Here, yeah, so I'm, uh, that's threatening. We're going to get a bit of snow next week. Yay. With a bit of luck. I'm quite happy for that. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Right, okay, so the finial, right. I've got a bit of wood here. I'm just using it is... Uh, turn me right around, that's it. Inch and three quarter by inch and three quarter by uh, five inches. Long. I get loads of these beach off cuts, literally thousands of them. So I can do all this sort of stuff. Thousands of these things. Right. Okay, so I've got my my ripple jaws or what would be known as shark jaws or uh, gripper jaws, whatever. So many different names for them. They're all the same thing, really. They all hold a bit of wood. Right, okay. But like I said, by the Nexus ones, only 35 quid compared to some of these that are like 70 quids and stuff like that ridiculous money i do like a bargain right okay face shield on i'm going to rough this down and then get it turned and then i'll probably use my spindle gouge to do it okay because although it's about car by chisels this really is about me just doing my christmas decks and i do love to use my traditionals as well as carbide i like all tools right okay Let's uh, speed her up. Right, okay, let's get this. Right, that's round. Just turning the colour away from the top. Right, okay. Right, that's that. Coming in with spindle gouge, using this one today. Now this, as you can see with this steel, this is a very old one. This old steel, you don't get the spindle gouges like this no more, which is a shame. They're really strong. You don't get the vibration. They're lovely. They are. So right, remember, come over and just start the cut here. Just want to clean up this bottom. Right, let's clean the bottom off. Okay, now I've got to work out where I'm going to have the, uh, the ball. So, I'm thinking, it's not, I don't laugh. It's not that sort of ball. Right, I'm going to start with it there. I'm just going to bring that in a little bit. Just use my uh, feeding tightening tool. Right, just for there for the moment going to do me just while I roll this over. Right, well, that's going to be too big so I'm going to flatten that off. I'll get roughly the size of the ball I want, which is probably about there. And then I'm going to bring this side round. Go 
Ja, dann bei mir Start rein. to the size I want, the shape. Right, come down to about there. Now, we bring this down a little bit. Hey, bugger! You're gonna do it again, ain't you? You bugger! Right, I'm gonna get ya. Ah. I'm gonna keep going till I get this. I know what it is. Hang on, one second. Now I'll show you what's wrong there. Can you tool rest up a little bit? Show you what was wrong there. Look, now what? See, to a lower tool rest. You raise it up a bit, and you can get it. Right now, I don't really want to do it with that. I don't know why I was doing it with that really. Because what I want to do is I want to come down here. I'm going to bring this down. And I want to bring this over. Take any of those marks off. Go to the front, get rid of that little dibble there. Yeah, so see what I mean with you want to roll it with a uh, you want to roll your bead over with your bedan or your parting tool, your beading parting tool, you can but get your tool rest up. That's the difference if you have it low and if you have it up. But don't give up. If you get that skip back, just do it, take it as a challenge. You're gonna get that cut in. Right, now what I've got, I've got my, my calipers set at the, the diameter of the bottom of the ball ball. So I'm to very gently come down here, a bit so you can see it. Yeah, just about right there. Okay, so what I want to do is actually take some of this down. Right. Right, okay. So what I want to do is from that diameter. And then what I want is this down to 10 mil here, see? Let me just check that, make sure I didn't reduce that too much. No, that's just right. 
All right, this boat's 10 mil. Right, now do me, use me spanner, a little 10 mil spanner, which it has this edge sharpened. So you put this one underneath, but when you put it underneath, you've got to pull up. So like that. Okay, and that'll give you 10 mil. If you push down with it, it'll just make it smaller. Okay, so that hooks under and use a tool rest to pull up on it. And that will cut you. It just gives you that. Okay. Gives you 10 mil. That's it, right. And now I can just come in, just put that up there. There we go. Right, well, I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy with that, I'm not going to play about with it. Right. Yeah, before I pile that off, so if you're going to use your... If you're going to use your beading parting tool or your badan or whatever for peeling cuts, it's actually more a peeling scrape than a peeling cut because when you come in, you just push in with the tool, keeping it up. Don't lift the handle too much. Just go forward with it. Now, this is what I said before about the difference if you sharpen on a, a belt or on a wheel. Because I sharpen on a wheel, if you look at this, I've got a slightly concave grind. So when that's on here, it actually fits perfect to the shape. So by holding it on and just basically there, just pushing forward, okay, I can get a really, really smooth finish, okay? If you've got a flat grind, the only way you can get that to start cutting is you've got to come off. You can't do it. If that, that's flat like that, it only contacts in the centre part of it because that's round, flat on round. So you come off and you come onto the point. Nothing wrong with it, but you're, you're straight. It won't be quite as good a finish because it's on a... So it's not actually a peeling cut is a wrong wrong description, really. It's more a peeling scrape. A, a peeling scrape. So you're actually scraping it down. You're not actually cutting it. But anyway, that's enough of that. Right, I'm going to put a little mark. Right, I'm going to part that off there. That's the turning bit done. Right, I've got just a little bit of a uh, 180 grit. I'm just going to go bump like that. Oh, let me move that out. I'm going to turn my hoover on because as I've done, I've done some really critical tests on this, and I can confirm that it does work better if it's turned on. Someone has to do these little tests, you know. Right. That's all that needs. You need no more than that. That's it. Get your cuts good. You don't have to do a lot of sanding. Right, just clean that up. There you go. Bit of house work as well. Right, okay, so on that, I am just going to put a little bit of gold paint. A little bit of gold paint here. I'll we'll slow it down. Slow it right down. Right, I'm gonna give that a few seconds just to spin. Before I put a little bit of this clear coat. This is a clear protector top coat. You can see that in there? Yeah. And this gold paint, this was just, it's just a, a pound, a, a little sp spray tin, because it's uh, from Poundland. Um, sorry, that's those ones. They're, they're actually really good. I like the color. I'm gonna stop that for a minute. You can see it has all the glitter on it. I'm just going to give another little spray because where it was turning, it's missed a couple of bits there. Yeah, look at that gold, look, that's beautiful. 
dries really quick, but there is a but with it. If you if you touch it now, even when it's dry, the gold will rub off. So if I put a bit of this clear protective top coat on, it doesn't, it seals it in. And I only have to wait a couple of minutes for that. Seconds really, so I'll just give it that little bit of time. And then uh, what I should do, I'll start that up again, a little bit slow like that. What I'll do is I'll just turn my vacuum cleaner on because then that sucks away the fumes. That. There we go. Just leave that turning for a minute. Now the stuff's flicking off a bit, so I'll slow it down. Yeah, I'll just leave that for a minute. That'll that, uh, dry up in no time. Don't take long to dry. It'll be enough for me to get it in here. Then I'll part it off in a second. So, and that'll be it. Oh yes, all good. And I did see a video today actually, when I was saying yesterday about with the S SC2 chuck. Are you gonna put me in film on it? The SC2 and I said about with the other, the dome jaws not gripping. One of um, Pete from Twisted Trees, he put one on today, he said about the same thing with his uh, jaws. And what he did was drill down the middle with a drill bit closed them right up and drilled in and made them grip so I might actually try that rather than grinding but I hadn't even really give that a thought of doing that but yeah yeah so I should be giving that so thanks for that Pete I'll give that a go because um, I say they're nice jaws I'm going to get another chuck I might go for the uh, turn that boot off I don't need that I might <laughs> <laughs> I was just testing see how long that hoover runs for and how quiet it is and so yeah that's another test done there you go you should keep laughing at me. We could have got away with that if you hadn't started laughing. Yeah. No one would have known. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I might go for the SC1 chuck because I ain't got one of those and that'll give me all their chucks. Um, but yeah, I really like, I really do like those chucks, I must say. Very good value. Good, they're good quality. And those, um, these Nova chucks, I might add. And that, uh, well, the one, oh, the one that's on there. <laughs> Um, this supernova that comes with a six year guarantee as well so that's not bad six year guarantee on it all for 80 all for 86 pound i think that's a bargain and i'm not sponsored by no one i don't get nothing free everything i have i pay for okay so that's another trip so to uh, Snaton then. Yeah, that's another show. I've got to go Snaton again. <laughs> um, so yeah, if uh, if I recommend something, I'll only recommend something because it's good or because I, I like it. So I'm not sponsored by anyone. I don't want to be sponsored by anyone. I'm quite happy. I'll buy everything I have. Right, turn that back up. I'm just going to part this off. Hold it there because I don't want to get it. Actually, what I'm going to do is take... Oh, no, I am going to pile it off. I was going to use the saw, but... It came I changed my mind at the last second. And <laughs> 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 then No, I will part it right off. <laughs> right, okay, guys. So, I'm going to... Mount this right now. This wheel... Actually, I'm going to put some, some glue on here. Mm -hmm. So, let me just... Pick me glue. I'm going to use some super glue. I'm going to put a bit of super glue on there. And oh, give that a little wiggle round. Pop that in there. Right, I'm just okay. going to stand there and I'll go for a second. I'm going to give that a second to go off. I do have accelerator, but I'm not keen on it. It always makes, makes a piece go white. So I'll just give that a few seconds. Okay. Now that's pretty much held in there anyway. And there you go, guys. That's that's actually my globe. That's how I want my globe to be. Okay, and the reason I've only done the ball on the end is if Lisa will probably turn you around. It's still got to have some more bits on it. But this is, uh, 
nine reef seat and that's going to be hanging inside there like that if you can see that yeah yep. so that's going to be tied up and put this has got to have a few more bits put on it there's my bells i made they're hanging on there that's going to hang on inside that and then it's all going to hang help outside i've got a hook for it by the side of the tree and i'll show you all that when it's all done okay so there we go guys that's uh that's my um that's my big uh, ball ball so there we go that's that right i think that was about it for the moment um next video i can't think what that was going to be um oh yes actually i've got that to do anyway let me show you this Oh, I forgot about this one. Oh, yeah. I've got this one, guys. <laughs> this bit. Now this, I've got to get done for Chris. So this is going to yeah. be a um, a bowl in a bowl, basically. A platter with a bowl in the centre. So I want to be able to put crisps around the outside and peanuts in the middle. So it's going to be dished out. It's spalted um, beach. Spalted beach. I like spalted wood. I know people might think about for food, but... This is uh, it's going to be food safe sealed. I've got other bowls, hasn't killed me yet, so I'm quite happy. I'm all right. right. <laughs> Nothing wrong with me. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, no, I haven't had no problem, and I always get Lisa to test it first anyway. Yeah. I always let her eat sure. out of it first, mm -hmm. and if she's all right, it's hard to tell if she's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't seem to have any lasting effects on her, so it's all right. So, yeah, I'm going to be turning this. This is. Quite big. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is 13. Oh, that's unlucky, isn't it? Ah. That ain't going to go well, is it? That's, to... that, that's definitely not going to bode well. To right, it's not funny. This, this is 330 mil <laughs> <laughs> or 13 inches by 3 inches, 75 mil deep. So that's going to be really nice. I'm going to get that on. And like I say, uh, I'm going to. It's, it's, I'm not going to lose much depth on that because I want to come in. I'm going to sort of roll it. I want to come in and do a, a scoop in here and do a bowl, a little bowl in the centre. So I'll work that out, I'm not planning sight, I'm just gonna do it as I go and work out how I go. Um, as to, I like to just do things as I go along. The wood, the wood will tell me what I'm doing. So, right, and that's it. That's gonna be, be one I'm gonna be turning very shortly in the next uh, day or so. I've got a few days to get these bits done. Before the 25th. Before the 25th. <laughs> Fifth, yeah. <laughs> right, so that's it, guys. That was uh, all I think I really wanted to do today. Get me ball ball finished. And that's that. So um, I'll say any questions, just drop them down in the comments or, or drop me an email. A lot of people tend to email me, but it's, it keeps it more private. Um, yeah, people, people just tend to email me. I get lots and lots of emails, so I do I do answer all of them, and I'll try and answer all your comments. It'd be nice if you could subscribe. It lets me know um, that you're, you people are watching the channel. People wanna if you want to see stuff. If you don't subscribe, then okay, you don't have to subscribe. But there you go. Don't forget, I will be doing a giveaway when I get to a thousand. That's a nice chisel. So, and that's it. Right, okay, guys, that's about it. It's Sunday, and I'm gonna go in and have a. Cup of tea. Uh, Bailey's with I think a cup of oh. tea. Cup of tea. <sighs> right. Bailey's. I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea. I'm gonna have a Bailey's <laughs> over ice. Yeah. And I'm gonna sit and watch a bit of telly. I've got to watch Strictly. I didn't watch Strictly yesterday, no, so I it. I've got to watch Strictly before the I see the results. <laughs> so I've got Strictly right. dancing to go and watch. Yes. I am, I am. Yeah, we love dancing. I love dancing. Uh -huh. I am a dancer, so. <laughs> right, okay, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodle pip. Bye, guys.